We all know how emotionally charged NBA games can get, and sometimes when emotions run high, players let loose with a flurry of colorful language, and the NBA has had enough with the cursing and is currently engaged in a league-wide crackdown. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere because the NBA issued the most swearing fines this season in nearly 20 years. First up, how is the NBA handling this issue? You're about to find out. The NBA is taking an aggressive stance on swearing, and it's issued more fines for the offense in the 2021 to 2022 season than any other season in NBA history. However, it's unclear if their efforts will be a slam dunk. In the US, NBA stars certainly aren't afraid to speak their minds. In 2022 alone, swearing has cost players $95,000 in fines. Many suspect that with Draymond Green and Chris Paul's team heading into the NBA playoffs, that number is about to break the $100,000 mark. 2021 to 22 season is also the first time teams have been playing in packed arenas since the COVID-19 pandemic struck in 2020. NBA President of League Operations Byron Spruill said that the NBA has renewed its efforts to ensure that the league's standards of decorum are being upheld on social media and in print reviews, and not only on the court or in press conferences. In a recent interview, Sproul was asked what he hopes to accomplish in his efforts to crack down on unruly behavior and said, we get the emotion. We get the sort of element of authenticity. We're not trying to take that away in any of this around the game and their expressions on and off the court. But at the same time, we do have standards that we want to come back and we want to drive this message in very hard this year. We are not trying to be Pollyannish about this at all. Wait, wait, wait a second. Polly, Polly what? Pollyannish is a $10 word that means unrealistically optimistic. Based on Sproul's comments, it doesn't seem like he has had much faith in his anti-swearing offensive to have had a real pack impact on player behavior. And as you're about to see, it's not only swearing that falls under the decorum umbrella too, but other types of behaviors. Next up, who's the latest team to be slapped with a fine for unruly behavior? Let's take a look. The Dallas Mavericks are the latest team to be slapped with a fine for poor decorum. And this is the second time in the season alone that the team was fined for the same offense. The first offense was a few months ago and it cost them $25,000. And on Wednesday, May 18th, they were hit with their second fine of the season, to the tune of $50,000 for violating league rules regarding team bench decorum. As you may have suspected, the amount of the fine takes into account and reflects prior infractions of this team bench decorum rules in the 2022 NBA playoffs. On multiple occasions, several players and a member of the coaching staff were observed standing for an extended period in the Mavericks team bench area, and were on or encroaching upon the playing court during the game action in the Mavericks 120 to 90 victory over the Phoenix Suns in Game 7 of the semifinal playoffs at the Footprint Center on May 15th. As you can clearly see, it's not just profanity that players have to worry about. You might be thinking, well, who cares what the players act like? They're all adults and they have the freedom to do as they please. Fair enough, but as public figures and representatives of the National Basketball Association, it's incumbent on players to behave with at least a modicum of decorum. Why is it important? Because unruly behavior could actually hurt the NBA as a whole, especially in the area of TV ratings. If games are loaded with player profanity, then some people at home might stop tuning in to watch the games. And ultimately, that hurts the NBA's bottom line. In other words, it's bad for biz. Up next, why are the NBA 2021 to 2022 all rookie teams overflowing with talent? Let's have a look. The 2021 NBA draft will go down as one of the best in recent memory because of the abundance of talented rookies all season long. There were some amazing picks in the first round and some incredible talent was found in the second round. There's no doubt this season will have a fresh crop of rookie talent and it's no surprise that the NBA 2021 to 2022's all rookie teams are loaded with talent. Despite all of the talent, though, only 10 players have what it takes to make the cut, and it was announced Wednesday night ahead of Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. Rookie of the Year Scotty Barnes was unanimously picked for the first team along with Evan Mobley, the Rookie of the Year runner-up, and the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Cade Cunningham. Completing the rest of the first team were Jalen Green, Franz Wagner, and second team, Ayo Dosunmu, Chris Duarte, Josh Giddy, Bones Highland, and Herbert Jones. Keep an eye on all the other players who received votes as well, Jonathan Kuminga, Albert and Sangun, Jalen Soggs, Ziare Williams, Davion Mitchell, and Jose Alvarado, just to name a few. Some of these players might be coming up in the next NBA draft, and they are proof that the NBA has a lot of upcoming talent. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're bringing you the latest NBA news. Next up, who are the most talked about free agents of this season? You're about to find out. This summer, James Harden and Zach Levine have big decisions to make. Harden was a player option scheduled for next season, and if he chooses to exercise this option, he'll be under contract for one more season at $47.4 million, and will enter free agency in 2023. But if he declines, he's a free agent now. Turns out Harden was supposed to exercise his free agency option when he was traded from Brooklyn, but failed to do it by the deadline. Hence, putting Harden's new contract negotiations off for another year. That could be a risky move for Harden, who turns 33 in August 2022. And many have remarked that there have been a decline in Harden's ability to get to the rim and score. So what Harden needs is a multi-year deal where he's paid less than $47 million next season, but he's given some sort of long-term security. And it might be in the Sixers' best interest to give Harden a 
solid deal because he might just be in a bit of a funk and could rebound even stronger next season. Another potential restricted free agent is DeAndre Ayton. The Suns and Ayton have had a complex relationship and it was only complicated further after Phoenix gave McCollum Bridges a rookie extension last summer but failed to give Ayton the same consideration. Ayton turns 24 years old in July 2022 and according to many observers and obviously the most talented player on the Suns roster, Ayton's numbers are really good. His shooting percentage and defensive rebounding percentage speak for themselves. Up next, what's the story with Chicago Bulls unrestricted free agent Zach Levine and Dallas Mavs star Jalen Brunson? Let's take a look. Levine enjoyed a great deal of success and reached even the playoffs for the first time in his eighth season. Even though he was dealing with healing knee injury for the better part of the season, as the Bulls struggled against some heavy competition, Levine fits the profile of a high dollar value player, and he's only 27 years old. Levine is part of an elite group of only four players, including Giannis Antetokounmpo, Devin Booker, and Joel Embiid, that have averaged at least 20 points per game with a shooting percentage of 55% or better over the last four seasons. Impressive stuff. Jalen Brunson has also been a valuable asset for the Dallas Mavs during the team's playoff run. Early in the season, the Mavs were below 500 of a team, and seemed like a free agent that would be poached by a team willing to pay more for him and give him a more important role. But after Brunson was moved to the starting lineup in mid-December of 2021, the Mavs eventually became the title contending team, or a title contending team rather, and it's hard to imagine the Mavs just letting him walk away with dangling a few carrots in front of his face. It'll be interesting to see how much Brunson gets paid after earning $6.1 million over his first four seasons in the league, but many suspect that Brunson had a big payday headed his way. Finally, who's Dyson Daniels? The Toronto Raptors are on a hunt for the diamond in the rough in the next month's NBA draft. The Raptors have reportedly met with the G League Ignite prospects Dyson Daniels, a 6'8 wing is considered the top pit for next month's draft. The Raptors don't currently have a first round pick because they traded number 20 pick to Spurs along with Goran Dragic for Thad Young and the number 33 pick in the draft. So it's unlikely that Dyson will be available when the Raptors get around to making their first selection, which is a shame because Dyson has an incredibly versatile skill set. If the Raptors do miss their opportunity to scoop up Dyson, you can guarantee they'll be keeping a very close eye on him. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.